Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tanner Bell, founder of makersgonnalearn.com, a digital die cutting community. And I'm so excited that you have found this video on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because we love sharing Cricut videos with you today. In today's project, we're going to share exactly how to use printable vinyl. We've got a lot of questions about it and I'm so excited to share with you guys how you're able to use printable vinyl to make really fun projects like you see here. It's super easy to use and it's just like any other print and cut item. I was actually surprised at how easy using this amazing Cricut printable vinyl is. So be sure to stay tuned and let's get started. To get started, just like any other print and cut project, you just want to go ahead and select upload and we're going to upload images from online that is not already in Cricut Design Space. So we're just going to select browse and we're going to select the cartoon images. So what we want to do is click this right here and you'll see it appear. Now we're going to select complex image, press continue and then it looks good. There's nothing we need to clean up or erase. And we're just going to select continue. If you've not done a lot of the print and cut projects, make sure that it's saving as a print and cut image and then select save. Super easy. You're going to see that into your cloud of recently uploaded images. Then we're going to repeat that process for our cake. So just select open, complex image. And then what I'm going to do for this image is I'm going to take out the top little pieces for the candle lights, little flames. So we're just going to erase those out real quick. Just because we do not want those to cut with us. So just like so, we have the cake and let's select continue. And make sure to save it as a print then cut image. And I've already uploaded the cookies, so we're good to go there. What we're going to do is click on all three of these images and insert. So you see these appearing onto our canvas and it looks a little overwhelming. All we want to do is click on these and both set the size. So we're going to set these at three inches and it'll automatically resize for us, which is awesome. And you just want to click on it and just type in three and then press enter. We're going to repeat that to all three of our images and you see here they're ready to go. It's super easy. Be sure to make sure um, if you're using any other images that you can see the little print icon over in the right hand layer panel and you'll be good to go. If for some reason you're using an image that is not already a print then cut image, you just want to go over here and if it's on cut, head on over and click print. It's that simple. So now let's click make it. And before you know we send it to the printer, let's load our printable vinyl into our Canon printer. Today we're working with the Canon TS8120. It's our choice for print and cut. It's super inexpensive. It's very lightweight. You do want to have an inkjet printer when you're working with printable vinyl. So what we're going to do is go ahead and load this in. And for us, we're going to load it in liner side down into the tray, just like so. After it's in, we're going to be good to go. And we're going to press continue on the screen. And then we're going to click send to printer. And you can see here we have our printer selected and bleed is on and we're going to press print. So it's sending it over to the printer. Awesome guys, it's printed out just like so and we have it right here. It's on our printable vinyl. All we wanna do is apply this onto the mat, just like so. And then now we're going to select our material. All you wanna do is click browse all material and we're gonna type in printable. And then you can see right at the bottom, it says printable vinyl. We're going to select this. And now we're able to load in our map. You can see here we have our fine point blade and now we have the flashing cricket light. Before we press go, all we wanna do is turn on fast mode and press the flashing cricket button.
All right, so it's cut, and now we want to do is click unload. And we have our little stickers right here. All we're going to do is take this and peel one up. It's easier to do this when you take it off the map. So just like so, we have our awesome vinyl printable sticker. Check out how easy it is to have such an awesome printable image for your projects. I love this technique and it's super simple. If you guys have any questions on using printable vinyl, please let me know in the comments below. We cannot wait to share with you guys more print and cut projects. And if you're obsessed with using your Cricut, you're gonna love our membership at makersgonnalearn.com where we share with you exclusive die cutting cut files every single month. I would love for you guys to check it out. So check out the links below for a special little offer and we'll see you guys back here real soon. Talk to you later. Bye.